G'day everyone, I'm just down at our showgrounds project in Ascot Vale. We have our Dinsel system that's sitting here on site ready to go. Guys have been busy getting all the prep work happening for this uh, retaining wall, basement walls. So just to talk you through what's going on, uh, we've got N16 bar outer face, N12 inside face. Uh, this track system here is temporary, so the boys have jigged that up. So uh, down the track we'll have a um, insulated cavity in here, a uh, 90 mil frame, uh, you know, and then plaster finished throughout. So this is the uh, the actual way this system's going to work. But we've got a track on the inside face, track on the outside face. We've got a uh, dry Zorro product, which is that off concrete color that you're looking at from there to there. Um, basically, that's the first stage that's been applied. So once that's gone off, we've come back now today and we've got our sick as well product here that's been adhesed down and it's nice and tight. So that's a water stop. It'll be on the inside of the panel. So pretty much as that gets installed, it's going to be sitting in here. And all the reinforced steel, um, Rio, will be put through each sort of hole at the required spacings from the engineer. So a fair bit of um, work involved getting this going. But um, yeah, the system will come together pretty pretty easily. Uh, we'll core fill it. It will sit for a couple of weeks before we can backfill. Um, hopefully we don't get too much more rain, starting to get a little bit of uh, mud wash up and stuff. It's just gonna be a little bit more cleaning up for the tanking on the outside. Anyway, chat soon.